Hello! We are going to multiply rational expressions, also called algebraic rational expressions. So here we go. We're going to have 5x to the fourth over 7x to the third times 49 x to the fifth over 25 x, which is really x to the one. Now, remember that when you have like bases, you subtract the exponents. That's what we're doing right here. And we're going to do it in the other fraction also. x to the 5 minus 1 because the x on the bottom is to the 1 power. That will give us negative 5x or x to the 1 over 7 times 49 x to the 4th over 25. Now we'll do some cross canceling. 5 goes into 25 5 times and 7 goes into 49 7 times so that what we'll end up with is negative 7x to the fifth because we have x times x to the fourth, that's x to the fifth, over 5. Now we have a minus b. Quantity squared over 5, and we're multiplying it by 9d over 3 times a minus b, and that's a quantity in parentheses. It's a binomial. All right, 3 goes into 90 30 times. So we'll have a minus b times a minus b over 5 times 30 over a minus b. We can cross cancel the a minus b's and 5 goes into 30 six times. So our answer is going to be 6 times the binomial a minus b. And draw a line under that to separate it from the next problem. We'll have 7x minus 7 over 5x plus 5 times 4x plus 4 over 10x minus 10. Now we're going to factor all of these. All, uh, see, the numerators and the denominators can be factored by a greatest common factor. 7 is the greatest common factor in the numerator of the first fraction. 5 is the greatest common factor in the denominator of the first fraction. 4 is the greatest common factor in the numerator of the second fraction. And 10 is the greatest common factor 
in the denominator of the second fraction. Now the x minus 1's cancel. The x plus 1's cancel. 2 goes into 4 2 times and 2 goes into 10 5 times. So our numerator now is going to consist of 7 times 2 and the denominator will be 5 times 5. All the variables are gone. So our final answer will be 14 over 25. And I draw a line under that to separate it from the next problem. Twenty seven minus three Z over forty nine times one forty seven over 7z minus 6t3. Ha! 63. Now factor everything that can be factored. 27 minus 3z has a common factor of 3. So you'll have 3 times the binomial 9 minus z. That's over 49 times 147 and in the bottom right denominator 7 is the common factor pull it out and you have z minus 9 49 will go into 147 three times So we'll have 3 times 3 over 7 times 9 minus z over z minus 9. You remember that when we have something like this, we have reverse differences, they cancel. Well, they equal negative 1. So our answer is going to be negative 9 over 7.